the formidable robot. As a devoted fan of classic British television, I thought I had seen it all, which is the lost episode of Coronation Street. Yet what I stumbled upon one dreary evening shattered my perception of reality and left me questioning the very fabric of the shows I held dear. It was a chilly autumn night when I received an anonymous email claiming to possess a VHS recording of an episode of Emmerdale from 1979 that had never aired. Skeptical yet intrigued, I arranged to meet the sender in a dimly lit alleyway, the perfect setting for a clandestine exchange. The tape was wrapped in a tattered cloth, its label barely legible. With trembling hands, I rushed home, eager to unravel the mystery concealed within the dusty cassette. As the tape whirred to life, I was greeted by the familiar sights of the Yorkshire Dales. The opening credits rolled, but there was something off about them, a subtle distortion that sent a shiver down my spine. The episode began innocuously enough, with the villagers of Emmerdale going about their daily lives. However, as the storyline unfolded, a sense of unease settled over me like a suffocating blanket. The plot revolved around a forgotten character, a recluse who lived on the outskirts of the village. Rumors swirled about his mysterious past, and the villagers whispered of dark deeds committed under the cover of night. Curiosity drove me forward as I watched the events unfold, each scene more unsettling than the last. Shadows danced across the screen, and a sense of impending doom hung heavy in the air. As the episode reached its climax, the protagonist ventured into the depths of the woods, drawn by an otherworldly force. There, amidst the gnarled trees and twisted brambles, he stumbled upon a dilapidated cottage shrouded in darkness. Inside, he discovered a room bathed in an eerie blue light, its walls adorned with strange symbols and sigils. In the center of the room stood a mirror, its surface shimmering with an unnatural glow. Unable to resist its allure, the protagonist approached the mirror, only to be greeted by a chilling sight. His reflection stared back at him, but it was not his own face that he saw. Instead, he beheld a twisted visage, a grotesque mockery of humanity. With a strangled cry, the protagonist recoiled in horror, but it was too late. The mirror had claimed him, dragging him into its dark depths and sealing his fate for all eternity. As the screen faded to black, a single message flashed across the screen. The mirror's curse. Beware the reflections of Emmerdale. And with that, the tape came to an abrupt end, leaving me alone in the darkness with nothing but my thoughts and the lingering chill of fear. To this day, I cannot shake the memory of that lost episode, nor the sense of dread that accompanies it. For somewhere, hidden within the annals of television history, lies a darkness that should never have been unearthed, a darkness that now threatens to consume us all.